Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao. Let's talk about Yinlin. I think that Yinlin is one of the better characters that we have in Wuthering Waves. And maybe for some people, that might be weird to think of or maybe to consider because Yinlin is not necessarily a big damage dealer or doesn't really stand out in a way because she might be too niche for a lot of people. However, there's a very good reason for why she is so much better than other characters in Wuthering Waves. Yinlin is a sub DPS. And that means that she's not the main DPS. And the main DPS is the main character in your party. And it's all about this character. And you're doing everything for this character so that this character can do the most damage. And Yinlin is a puzzle piece to help the main DPS to do greater damage. And I do think that Yinlin is the greatest sub DPS in the game. And because she can utilize this sub DPS with multiple characters, that's why she is so strong. A lot of people probably instantly think about her electro buffing. The incoming resonator has their electro damage amplified by 20%. This is a lot of reason why people think maybe that Yin Lin is locked with electro or that she is locked with only electro DPSs. But that is not what it is about. This is a bonus. The resonance liberation damage amplified by 25% for 14 seconds. That is really what it is about. And on top of that, it is about our forte circuit. Those two things make this character so good. And then she just has a lot of bonus things. Just do a lot of damage or help specific characters like the electro damage boost or like her resonance liberation when it's just literally a nuke, right? If you look at her forte circuit, it's when Yinlin's judgment points are full, her heavy attack is replaced with chameleon cypher. That's when you hold your heavy attack, then the whole big AOE thing happens which consumes all judgment points to attack the target, dealing electro damage. When it hits a target marked with Sinner's Mark, the Sinner's Mark is replaced with Punishing Mark lasting 18 seconds. Sinner's Mark, basic attack, Zap String, Dance, Resonance Liberation, Thundering Wrath, and Interest Skill, Roaring Storm, apply Sinner's Mark to the target on hit. Sinner's Mark is removed when Yunli is switched out. Then Punishment Mark, when a target marked with Punishing Mark takes damage, Judgment Strike will fall. Triggering coordinated attacks to all targets marked with punishing mark and dealing electro damage, this can be triggered up to one time per second. So basically what this is, when you charge up your stacks and you make sure that everyone is marked, you hold the button and when you swap to a new character, that new character does damage with the electro stacks on it. You see the whole electro Vs the whole time. That is Jinlin's passive going off, dealing damage with the main DPS. And this is essentially applying bonus damage on top of the main dps damage it is a very effective way to increase the main dps's damage and this is why yin lin is so good it doesn't matter if the main dps is electro or not this still will trigger and you, your main dps still will do a lot of damage it's undeniably a fact that if you have an electro dps that yin lin skyrockets in value because the electro damage on top of the extra electro hits will make your electro composition on the next level. Then throw in a character like Verena that buffs everyone's damage or another upcoming healer or support that buffs everyone's damage on the team will even further increase the sub DPS capabilities and then further increase the main DPS capabilities. And because Jin Lin provides this for your main DPS, it is inevitable that your main DPS is going to have more damage even if the main DPS is not electro. I am pairing my Yin Lin now with my Chang Li. And Yin Lin also increases resonance liberation damage by 25%. And we all know that Chang Li has a very big ultimate. So imagine you are stacking your Forte Circuit on Yin Lin. Then you enable the Forte Circuit on Yin Lin. So your main DPS then has that extra damage for the Electro. Then you swap to Chang Li. And then when she ults, she has even more ultimate damage. Now, even though the Chang Li is not Electro, she's Fusion. This is an insane combo and will make sure that Chang Li will do way more damage. I'm doing this combo now the whole time and it is extremely smooth combo and it almost feels like a hyper carry resonance liberation team. Yin Lin does her ult, does a lot of damage and you swap to Chang Li and then she does her ult and it's another 100k bomb on them, you know? So it's a very strong composition and it's a very strong playstyle. Yin Lin has just two. Yin Lin has the electric playstyle where you buff the electric damage and you give more electric damage on top of that 
And then she has the playstyle where she just enhances the ultimate damage, the resonance liberation damage from these from your main DPSs. And this could work with a lot of characters. And this is going to be good to the end of time. If there's going to be other DPSs coming up that have really big ultimates or have very good old damage, Jin Lin is going to be good with that as well. Now, if there's going to be an upcoming Electro DPS, then Yin Lin will also be good. So Yin Lin not only just provides a lot of value for your account as a sub DPS, but she's also very future proof. And I think it's one of the better sub DPSs to have in the game. And that's why, because she's so flexible and you can use her in so many different ways, that's why she's one of the better characters in the game right now, if not the best sub DPS in the game. And because sub DPSing is so important in this game, I think she's like an essential character for a lot of team compositions. If you take my account, for example, I have now called Charo leveled and I have a Chang Li leveled. I can literally swap Yin Lin with either of them and she's going to pop off. It's inevitable that Kalt Charo is not going to be power crept. There's probably going to be a new electric DPS sooner or later. When that electric DPS is coming out, I am going to be stacked. I could just take all Kalcharo's Echoes, put them on the new DPS, and I just take Yin Lin with that as well. And that Electro DPS is going to pop off, you know? And this is really why picking certain characters in gacha games is so important. And I think Yin Lin, if you have Yin Lin, know how much value you have. And this is also another reason why other characters are so valuable. Characters like Chang Li, Kalcharo, Jin Si, Ji Yan, all those characters, sooner or later, we'll get like different versions of them or other characters that might do it better or in a different way. And I think playstyle is very important. That's why I think Chang Li is so such a good character is because she's really fun to play. And I think a lot of people have a Jinxi as well. It's like really fun to play and then good damage. But these are all DPS characters. And there's always going to be like another DPS along the way that you might have more interest in or have a better connection with or it's more fun to play. Those are always swappable and you're probably going to pull a lot of those. Having a good support and a good sub DPS are such core things on any account and any new DPS can just use the previous sub DPS and supports. That's why characters like Verena and Yin Lin, if you have those two, you are going to be in such a good ride because whatever the main DPS is going to be, that main DPS will just do more damage. It doesn't matter what it is. And that's why a character like Yin Lin is so incredibly valuable. And in some way, Chang Li is also such a strong character because yes, Chang Li can be main DPS, but Chang Li can also be a sub DPS and then she's very specific though. She's very niche in the fusion category, you know? But if there's going to be a limited fusion DPS along the way, and you're like, I'm not really enjoying Chang Li anymore, hey, throw in the sub DPS role, and then you have that covered for the end of time. And you still have that right now if you pulled for her. So these characters are going to be extremely good. And the moment there's going to be like a limited five star Verena, where it's going to be even crazier and more buffing, that character is probably going to be super essential and you should very, and I highly recommend you guys picking up these characters. And we're probably going to get a lot of different forms. Yin Lin is then very good with Electro, Resonance Liberation, extra bonus damage, a lot of AoE, nuking with their ults, you know, all of those things. We're probably going to get a sub DPS that maybe enhances maybe another element or maybe buffs the basic attacks only or a lot or heavy attack spamming or maybe the skill or another certain place though you know like maybe air attacks you know wandering waves can go a lot of different ways and that's why this game is so fun and in-depth because of the team building you can do plus the fun playstyle you can mix match with it and i think that's why yin lin is such a valuable character because she covers a lot of things aoe bonus damage, resonance liberation, electro. And if you want, you can make her into a main DPS, you could, but I think her sub DPS is just top notch. Yin Lin is just top tier and on the top of her game for the sub DPS roster. And then on the top of the game of out of all the characters that we have in the game right now, because she's so valuable and works in different ways. I would love to hear what you guys think about Yin Lin as a whole and just the sub DPSing as a whole, because I do think that these are going to be very essential characters for your account and are going to be very good to the end of time. Let me know if you use Yin Lin, if you think Yin Lin is overrated, if you think she's bad, what you think is the best character in the game that we have right now and what are essential pieces for these type of characters. I would love to hear you guys' takes on this and I hope this video helps you out maybe understanding something more or maybe gave you some more ideas for your account. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. And if you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.